Hi, welcome to May Love. Today we address the question, does slugging work and is there a better alternative? The short answer is that slugging is better than using nothing at all if you have very dry skin. But there is actually a study that suggests niacinamide combined with the simple, less sticky moisturizer actually works better. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. So first, slugging, as you probably have seen and heard about, is where you apply a lot of petroleum jelly, commonly Vaseline, on your face to lock in moisture particularly during times like the winter and when your skin is really dry. Petroleum jelly is what is called an occlusive. Occlusives are basically ingredients that seal up the skin and keep water from evaporating. Common occlusives used in skincare are oil derived like petroleum jelly or mineral oil, waxes like beeswax, as well as silicones and lanolin. The outer surface of your skin, the stratum corneum, normally functions as a waterproof barrier to keep water in. However, when you have very dry skin, this barrier is compromised or is just not up to the task in harsher conditions, such as in cold winter. So occlusives can help reinforce the skin barrier. I have very dry skin, so I try some slugging myself and I noticed two major drawbacks. First, it feels greasy and sticky and just kind of gross. Second, it can cause some major pimples. For those with acne prone skin, slugging is not even an option as it will clog pores and cause breakouts. By the way, I actually don't even have acne prone skin, but I have very, very dry skin, and yet it still caused me to break out a little bit. That's why I was excited when my team came across a paper published by some of my colleagues in 2005 in the International Journal of Dermatology. Because in this paper, there was a direct comparison between petroleum jelly and niacinamide based moisturization. In this study, over the course of eight weeks, skin treated with a niacinamide moisturizer showed decreasing transepidermal water loss, which is a measure of how well your skin is holding onto water. So a decreasing transepidermal water loss represents a strengthening of the skin barrier. On the other hand, skin treated with petroleum jelly showed no such improvements over time. So although both work in the short term, only the niacinamide-based moisturizer led to long-term improvements to skin dryness. And this suggests a lighter weight niacinamide moisturizer is superior to a heavy occlusive like petroleum jelly in terms of keeping skin hydrated. So how does this all work? This is because niacinamide will increase ceramides, fatty acids, and cholesterol production in your skin. Ceramides, fatty acids, and cholesterol are the natural lipids that form your natural skin barrier. So what niacinamide does is that it strengthens your skin barrier from the inside out. So slugging might be a decent quick fix, but if you want to improve, repair, and fortify your natural skin barrier and have long lasting results, then you might see better results with niacinamide based products. In terms of a routine you can actually embrace, you could try a niacinamide serum followed by a lightweight cream or a lightweight cream that has niacinamide listed as an ingredient. Niacinamide, like vitamin C, can be used both in the morning and at night. Niacinamide-based moisturization is better for your skin long-term and likely also feels much better than slathering Vaseline all over your face. And your skin also won't break out. In fact, niacinamide can actually help treat acne. That's it for today's video. Please click on the link below for the write-up of this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.